I've got to go pay for some fuel that I stole. Hey guys, I'm Dan Jackson and welcome to my channel Danzy Engineer. Another week, another weekly vlog. I'm going to be talking about what I've been up to this week, what's coming up and also specifically about engineer training and fire alarm installations. So today I've been to the gym, go to the gym three times a week. I haven't been to the gym for six years so I've got myself a personal trainer um, got a little routine going on and I can't believe I haven't done it sooner to be honest I used to make excuses that I can't afford it I haven't got the time well I've been making the time I've made sure I can afford it and the benefits are brilliant I just feel so much better for it um, and it benefits work if you ask me if you don't do exercise or anything like that then sort, sort something out I need motivation so that's why I've got a personal trainer but he's also been keeping the tabs on what I eat and stuff like that I've uh, just got myself some some breakfast which is muesli with oat milk, some berries, and strawberries. Lovely stuff. Whereas before, I used to eat a load of rubbish. Today, I'm actually heading down to Apollo in Havent. Havent, Havent, I still don't know what it is. Um, so I'm gonna be meeting um, one of our engineers, one of my colleagues, Alistair, so I'm meeting him in a bit. You're gonna be going down there, looking at some of their products and whatever. I posted something on LinkedIn, actually about um, the pride in electricians who took the old 2391 sitting guilds course and um, that, I've done that course it's a testing and inspection and there's a real pride about the course because you know it, it's quite a difficult course it, it's about testing and you kind of qualified and then you've done that course and it's like a an additional course it's not around anymore it has been superseded by the 2394 and 2395 but that's going out the window and now there's another 2391. Now, there's another YouTuber called Sparky Ninja. He does a lot of training and whatever. So actually I'm gonna put in the, in the descriptions below, I'll put a link, um, check out his YouTube page. It's, um, it's pretty informative, um, very handy. I watch all of his videos. Um, he's done a video on the new 2391, so it's pretty handy for anybody who wants to know a little bit more about it. So I get a lot of people message me about recommendations for courses and whatever more than happy to help out where i can i'm absolutely no expert in training but i know where to look where to point in the right direction and you know there's a course for what you're trying to achieve so yeah they've got no problem helping anybody or whatever and i'll always take the time out because at the end of the day anybody who wants to do training wants to further their career you know i'm all for that that's that's great that's what should be happening in this, in this industry instead of doing you know a quick little course and saying that you're qualified and competent it's not about that it's about ongoing training i always go on courses when they come out and we're not just talking about electrical we're talking about fire so i do a lot of manufacturer training um and also i do a lot of training on site with the guys so we'll do a few exercises where i'll, I'll be out on site with them and go through various sort of different panels to sort of help on site so in other news uh this week has been crazy for emergency call outs i don't think we've had this volume of call outs in a seven day period than we ever have done i don't know what on earth is going on but we've managed to attend and sort out every single one of them it's something that we do the thing is with emergency call outs you can't plan for them so it's very hard to manage but we get there one way or the other and usually we have to move a few jobs around and fortunately our clients are more than happy to do that as long as it doesn't affect them financially or really inconvenience them but you know they're great like that because because the truth is we've done it for them as well when they've needed an emergency call out so it's pretty good great client base and you know very happy with the guys a lot of them we've been working a lot of hours so well done team um, it's all all good and um, we've achieved a lot this week and uh, it, hopefully it'll slow down a little bit in the next couple of days but we'll see there we go so fire alarms now I absolutely love being in the fire alarm industry um, it's been great it's exciting, although some people think it's boring. You may have seen a few things on um, LinkedIn, people calling me boring, but there we go, whatever. And um, yeah, so we get a lot of companies, whether they're electrical contractors, they might be alarm companies, who get us in doing either design, install, commissioning, and handover of, of fire alarms. We don't mind doing any part of that. We don't mind doing the design only, we don't mind doing the install only, we don't mind doing the commissioning or just the maintenance, whatever. It, it makes no difference to me. But what's important and what's good actually, um, I had a, an electrician call me 
uh, yesterday and basically he wants to do the install he gets someone to design it so like a manufacturer he does the install we do the commissioning more than happy to do that that's absolutely fine providing all the paperwork and you know documentation is in order absolutely happy to do that and in fact you know that's good on his behalf because he knows that he hasn't got the formal qualifications to do commissioning he's, he's working his way up but that's the way to do it instead of him just trying to do it and not being able to issue the correct paperwork um, which ultimately affects the client you know he's getting us in who we're competent in commissioning to sort of do it on his behalf more than happy and you know i do endorse that but hopefully he will get his training and he'll be able to do it himself in the future we even work for other firearm companies we might do the install they, they design it we do the install and they do the commissioning and stuff like that i'm just all for only carrying out work when you're competent to do so that's what i'm really really sort of um i strongly promote um it's really important to me because if you're not that's when it fails and when we're working on life systems it's got to be right guys it's got to be right well anyway um i'm going to now drive and meet alistair and we'll we'll see what the day has in store for us this morning um i forgot to pay for fuel i think i've stolen it <laughs> just been called up by bp to say that um yeah i went off without paying but to be honest now i blame you mate because <laughs> alistair topped it up but i went into the shop and went to the toilet we got a bit of food and then obviously, automatically, I've just gone off and completely forgot about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> better head back. But, um, yeah, we're just on our way to Haven. Have you been to Haven before? No. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Haven or Haven? I don't, I don't even know. know. interesting actually we got to see how their products are made in their production which was really really interesting because I do feel that any sort of item that we use is taken for granted of where it comes from and how it's made so it's actually good to actually see how it's made in the process um, it's really impressive actually I was quite sort of excited to see that and uh, met a lot of the, the team down at Apollo um, going to continue using their kit obviously great bit, good bit of stuff and uh, giving us a few sort of items which we've got a trial out for them which is going to be quite all right so we're just heading back and um, I've got to go pay for some fuel that I stole <laughs> thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot bye